Hey, you guys. Now, listen. Listen. You never know when you're being nasty. Never know how people's going to come back at you, honey. Never know. Isn't that right, Wendy? Miss Wendy! Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. Listen, I was in my travels and I I wanted to talk about this a little bit. You know, I reported last week on last weekend on um swipe left about Nikki. I congratulated Nikki Minaj on her marriage to Kenneth Petty. She got married and everything like that, so everything was going real groovy with Nikki. And at the same time, of course, Wendy Williams reported on it. Now, what actually brought me to this point to actually come to talk to you all was the manner in which Wendy actually reported it. See, because there is there is reporting a situation and then there is literally being nasty about a situation. Well, listen, you know, Wendy does a bit of both. And Nick, Nikki, when I tell you, she dragged Wendy Williams all over Queen Radio, honey. Drag, you hear me? So listen, let's let me let me put this all up for you. So of course everybody's doing their thing. We all doing it. Nikki gets married, so we got to go talk about Nikki getting married. So. It wasn't just a congratulations. It was the nastiest, backhanded congratulations ever from Wendy Williams. I mean, literally, I swear, if Nikki would have been anywhere around, you would have seen a red mark on her face from how Nikki just got backhanded by Wendy. She literally goes into this whole thing about Kenneth and his past. She starts talking about him being in jail and the things that he was in jail for. You know, um, there was a manslaughter charge that he actually had at some point. And then there also she mentioned that he was a sex offender. Now, for the life of me, I, I just didn't understand how all of that played into Nikki getting married. Because, see, we've discussed all this prior. When she first, you know, went public with the relationship, we discussed all this. So to actually bring it back up again, I'm just kind of wondering what was Wendy's endgame? Like, what was the purpose? What was the purpose? See, this is part of that thing about being a shock jock. Sometimes you be trying to be shocking and trying to be cute, and it's not cute. And this just really came across like nasty. And then she basically said, this is when it got ugly for me. Okay. Even I probably could have slid past her bringing up the charges and stuff because that's kind of in windy fashion. But when she went and made the comment, well, he's a sex offender. Yeah. Nikki's used to that being as though her brother is. See? Wendy, too far, too far. And I knew, I knew there was going to be something. I knew Nikki wasn't going to just let that slide, and she didn't. So Nikki went to Queen Radio, and she addressed it. And baby, she let Wendy have it. I mean, when I say she dragged her, she gave Wendy everything. See, and that's the thing. When it comes to those matters of the heart, Wendy, see, you're the one that's out here in the street crying and carrying on. And we all watched you go down in a downward spiral when your love life was screwed up. So that probably wasn't the topic to throw shade at anybody on and not Nicki Minaj because it just did not go over well. Listen, let me give you some of what Nicki gave her, honey. 
Nikki gave her very much of, so why did you feel the need to go into my man's past when you should have been worrying about where where you were when Kevin had his ding 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 knee deep in old girl. I said, oh, I said, okay, this is going to get ugly. When I tell you Nikki went on down, I mean, it was one of them good old nasty reads, honey. She went down, told Wendy, you know, you paid for that girl's living and everything. You paid for her, her way of life. You probably paid for her guy the appointment. She had paid to have that baby delivered, I said. She talked about the baby. She talked about the money. She talked about, she said, I was one of those girls that was actually rooting for you when you were going through all those problems, when all this came out. I'm one of the girls that sat everything aside and said, you know what? It don't matter what she said about me in the past. You know, I'm rooting for her to pull through with all of this. You know, she, I, she said, I was one of the girls rooting for you when you were down there at the sober sober living house. I said, oh. She called Wendy Williams demonic. She also said, you're sitting around and you're not being loved and that's part of your problem. I was like, oh my, oh my. Well, I, I, just a really good old, a really good old dragon. You know, I said, oh, and ain't nothing you could even do. Can't even feel bad for Wendy. She actually really, I feel like she deserved this one because it was just unnecessary. It was unnecessary. Wendy was being crude and she was being unnecessary. Well, that 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 girlfriend came back, honey, and said, I'm not having it, honey. And she lumped her, honey. I said, oh, girl, how many lumps do you want, Wendy? How many lumps do you want? She gave it to her, honey. I said, oh, my. Anyway, that's what I wanted to yell at you all for a minute about. Did you see it? Did you see the uh, Wendy Williams show? Did you hear Queen Radio? Listen, if you didn't, check in on it. It was worth listening to both on both sides. A hot mess. A hot mess. But um, this one in my book is one up for Miss Nikki. One up for Miss Nikki. She dragged Wendy. And Wendy, I think Wendy deserved it. You all tell me what you think in the comments. Talk to you guys later.